right, here are the quiz answers. Uh, on temperature, expansion, pressure, root mean square velocity, and all those concepts. First one, quite simple, you need to convert 14 degree Fahrenheit to Kelvin. One way to do it is first change the Fahrenheit to Celsius using this equation 5 by 9 F minus 32. So first you got to subtract 32 and then multiply by 5 divide by 9. So that gives negative 10 degrees Celsius and then you can change Celsius into Kelvin by adding 273. Which would then give 263 Kelvin. In the second question, it's a steel bridge 1000 meter long. The temperature changes from 0 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius. The coefficient of thermal expansion, which is alpha, is given. And you have to find the difference in length, which means the change, which means how much it expands. And that's given by this formula. L is the original length, which is 1000 meter. Alpha is expansivity. And delta T is the change in temperature. So when you put in the numbers and calculate, you get 420 times 10 to the negative 3 meter. Which would be 0.42 meters actually. All right. So in the third one, it's a similar kind of question. The Concorde exterior is made of aluminum. Alpha is given. At 15 degrees Celsius, its length is 62.1 meter. In flight, the temperature goes up to 200 degrees Celsius. What's the change in length? A similar kind of problem. You again, got to find the change, which is delta L, which is L alpha delta T. The original length, 62.1 meter. Alpha is... 24 times 10 to the negative 6. Do not worry that it's given per Kelvin because the same per degree Celsius because it's the change. So that doesn't matter. 200 minus 15 and that gives 0 0.28 meter. The fourth one, a very interesting question. Here you have olive oil and uh, it's a coefficient of volume expansion which is beta is given it's in a one little glass beaker and the oil and the beaker are heated through 25 degrees celsius so that's the change in temperature and as a result 0 0.0167 liters of olive oil spill over now what you have to understand here is that both the oil and the beaker, both of them will expand. And so what spills out is the difference in how much they expand. So individually you got to find out their expansions. First, let's find out how much the olive oil expands, that given by that formula and a similar formula for what is the expansion of glass. And so the actual amount that spills over will be the difference, which is delta V naught minus delta Vg. Okay. So substituting, you see that V delta T is common uh, for in both the terms. So that's taken out. And then you have beta of oil minus beta of glass. Well, that's the amount that sp uh, spills over. In liters and as long as both are in liters it doesn't matter because it's a ratio again change in temperature is 25 Kelvin and so we can find the difference in their expansivities you can make that the subject
that is pointed not 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 668 so now we can find the beta of glass that's the volume expansivity of glass this number it's 0.68 times 10 to the negative 3 for oil minus this one which is 0.668 times 10 to the negative 3 that gives 0 0.012 times 10 to the negative 3 now remember that alpha is one-third of beta so the linear expansivity is one-third of cubical expansivity or in other words cubical expansivity is three times the linear expansivity so in this we get four times ten to the negative six as the answer for the linear expansivity of glass now that's an important question and in this one the air pressure in the tires is uh, 460 kilopascals when the temperature is 288 what is the pressure when the temperature is 298 assuming that the volume is constant so uh, is if the volume is constant then we can go by P1 by T1 is equal to P2 by T2 now these are the the values that are given and you got to find P2 and use P1 by T1 is equal to P2 by T2 make P2 the subject and on substituting the numbers you get 460 kilopascal divided by 288 Kelvin times 298 Kelvin so that gives 476 Kelvin, uh, kilopascals I mean at what temperature is the RMS speed of hydrogen molecules which have a molecular weight of 2.02 .02 gram per mole equal to 2000 meter per second now we just use the formula for RMS speed which is square root 3 RT by the molecular mass. Remember R is the universal gas constant, T is temperature in Kelvin and M is the molecular mass. Square both sides to get rid of the square root, rearrange and now substitute. This must be in kilograms so it's 10 to the negative 3 and uh, square of the velocity so it's 2000 squared divided by 3 times 8.314 which is the universal gas constant and the unit is joule per kilogram per mole no actually it's joule per kelvin per mole Joule per Kelvin per mole. Okay, so that gives 324 minus 273 if you want it in Celsius. It's 51.0 degree Celsius. And I got to go and make this change here. It's Joule per Kelvin per mole. What's the root mean square value of the following three, uh, three speeds? Okay, in this question you have to find the root mean square value of 2, 3 and 4 meter per second. Uh, which means you have to find the squares of the speeds divided by how many number? There are three, so divided by three and take the square root of that so that's what you mean by root mean square you're taking the square root of the mean square which gives 3.1 meter per second uh, 
And in the next one, the RMS speed of a certain sample of carbon dioxide molecules, molecular weight, 44 grams per mole is 396. And what is the RMS speed of water molecules with a molecular weight of 18 gram per mole at the same temperature? Now, root mean square speed is given by square root 3 RT by the molecular mass. And in both these cases, R and T are the same for both. So when you take it as a ratio question, you can divide. The first one is for carbon dioxide, V bar C divided by V bar W for water. And it's going to be square root of the mass of water is going to be on top because it was in the denominator. So plug in the numbers now. 396, that's the root mean square speed of carbon dioxide and then put in both their molecular weights when you divide that number 18 by 44 square root gives 0 0.64 and then you calculate you get the root mean square speed of water molecules at 619 meter per second. Here you have to find the mean free path of a gas of hard spheres of radius and uh, the number of spheres per volume is given. So what we do first is we find the volume of one of the spheres 4 by 3 pi r cube so 4 third pi times the given radius which is 2.00 times 10 to the negative 9 whole cube that gives 3.35 times 10 to the negative 26 meter cube now we find the volume occupied by one molecule because the number of spheres is given so you just got to divide so the volume of one divided by how many there are will give you the volume occupied by one molecule uh, so and the mean free path is going to be the cube root of this volume that one molecule can occupy and the cube root of this number is 4.69 times 10 to the negative 4 meter convert 14 degrees Celsius to Kelvin just add 273 287 Kelvin and now the calibration of a liquid bulb thermometer ice water and then it's kept in boiling water and you have to find out how much the fluid level would be or what's the temperature would be uh, when it is 2.4 centimeters okay so the difference in temperature is proportional to the change in length in this case it's given as 12 therefore unknown temperature minus 0 would also be equal to the change which is 2.4 so divide both the equations you get actually I'm dividing this by this 2 by 1 so to say so you get T by 100 is 2.4 by 12 and then you calculate T it's 20 degrees Celsius In number 12, the cubic box with sides of 20 centimeter contains 2 times 10 to the power 23 molecules. 
and the root mean square speed is 200 meter per second the mass of a molecule is given find the average pressure the formula for pressure P is one third M times N V bar squared now remember that N is the number of molecules in one meter cube now therefore you got to divide the total volume I mean the total number by the total volume so now you get uh, the number of molecules in one meter cube so once you get that substitute uh, the mass of a molecule times the number that we got just now again that is always the number of molecules in one meter cube uh, multiplied by the square of the RMS velocity which is 200 squared and that gives 566.7 pascals rounded off to 570 pascals which brings us to the last question the RMS speed of the molecules is 200 meter per second temperature is 300 Kelvin what's the mass of the individual molecules again root mean square speed is also given by this formula square root 3 times the pressure divided by density or root 3 RT by M as we've been using make M the subject because you're asked to find the mass of the molecule that is the universal gas constant the temperature is 300 Kelvin divide by 200 squared I squared the units too and you get 0 0.187 kilogram as the molecular mass that's a molecular mass and uh, if you're asked to find the mass of a molecule of course you have to divide that by the Avogadro number because there are that many molecules because molecular mass is the mass of one mole so when you divide it by the total number of molecules you get the mass of one molecule as 3.11 times 10 to the negative 25 kilogram thank you and make good use of this